that's really the only option. I mean, if you start feeling sorry for yourself and get down on yourself and living in the past, you know, obviously you want to correct a lot of things and, you know, there's a lot of uh, coulda, woulda, shouldas, but the more you focus on that, the more, it, you know, it's, it's counterproductive. So, um, you know, positivity is a big thing. It's, you know, early on in the year, there's, there's lots of time up and coming. What we obviously know we've got to correct things in a hurry here, but uh, looking forward and looking at some positive things this morning of, of what we like from our game. And obviously, like I said, there's some things that we, we definitely need to be better at, but um, I think for the most part, you know, there's areas we're improving on and, and uh, you've got to continue to, to work at those things. The message that, that you and a lot of others in the organization have talked about uh, as far as priority of defending mm -hmm. and how this team has to do that better. Do you think that message has been reinforced by these five games? Do you think people are more receptive now to that idea than maybe when the season began because of how the results of well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big believer in it. You know, it's funny, it's, as much as people, you know, I've been hearing about it the last 10, 15 years, how much the games change and offense and speed and all that sort of stuff. And the one common denominator at the end of it is that defending wins. So as much as that people think that you need, you know, high flying offense and all this plays off the rush and puck possession, all, yeah, yeah, it's all good stuff, but defending wins and, and defending wins championships. And uh, that starts with, taking care of the puck when you have it at, at the lines and on the boards and, and that's uh, taking care of the front of your net and winning battles in the corner and that's what wins at the end of the day and that's one thing that you know we need to get a lot better at and you know I watch a lot of highlights around the league a, a lot of games around the league and I think there's a lot of you know bad defending going on and, and a lot of uh, blowing leads I was watching you know TV the other night and, and they were saying I think of the first 60 games there's been 28 come from behind wins in the league and and that just boils down to a lot of teams are probably not playing the right way earlier on in the year and and uh, you know that's something that we definitely need to get a lot better at ourselves. The guys always say if you take care of your own zone you're going to get your chances the other way and you've said that probably since you were 12 but we just wonder why you know why does it take long to sink in when really you know that's the right way to do it? That's a great question. I mean, uh, you know, obviously, the way that you know guys are, are working at things in the summer and skills and you know different shooting shooting the puck or skating or you know different sort of you know puck skills or whatever. It's that's the way a lot of the guys want to play, right? When they when they come in and guys who maybe you know don't have the league, I don't want to say figured out, but you know want to try to play a certain way. And at the end of the day, um, you know. Sometimes it's risk, right? It's, it's risk, risk management and when to make those plays and when not to. And like I said, uh, we got a group that's learning and, you know, we, we did some things, uh, like I said, that we've liked and there's some things that we just fly out need to clean up. And, and a lot of that is taking care of the puck. And like I said, um, you know, just being real hard and solid to play against in your own end. And at the end of the day, that's that's what you see the teams in playoffs do. It's it's not the teams that are you know lighting up the score sheet and trying to outscore teams. It's the teams that are keeping the puck out of their net. We used to ask uh, Quinn <laughs> pre-COVID about the power play struggling, and he would tell us to just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. You've known him for a long time, Luke. What what sets him apart in being able to kind of handle everything? I mean, he played 28 minutes the other night. I know he hates to lose, but he seems to have this way about him where he's able to, to handle it. Do you think it comes from the family hockey lineage? Or what do you think it comes from? That's a great question. That's a, that's a question for Jimmy Hughes, I think. Yeah. He's got the three boys, but uh, yeah. yeah, no, he's uh, he's got a calming presence for sure. I mean, he doesn't get super worked up one way or another. And, you know, sometimes you'll have a game where he's got three assists and he's not even smiling. And sometimes, you know, he's, he's you know, it's not his night and it's kind of the same way. So you never really know with him, but uh, obviously he's elite and he's got a, he's, he's um, uh, strong mentally. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter kind of what point of the game or what point of the, the season or whatever. He just kind of keeps going about his business. And, you know, the top guys are strong mentally on top of their skill set. It's only it's early, but he's already second to doubt in terms of minutes per per night. I mean, is there a ceiling on him? I mean, he can play thirty, but obviously, you don't want him playing that much. Twenty three to twenty four, maybe. I would imagine. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the one managing the minutes, uh, but eighty two games. You know, up at around the you know twenty seven thirty. That, that's that's a lot of ice time, and um, you know, obviously. You know he's he's playing every situation. Like you said, power play. You get you get a lot of you know extended shifts when you're playing a minute and a half on the power play. But 
you get a couple games in overtime and you know that adds a couple minutes itself and you know four and four and all that you, you want your best players out there for sure but um you know there's there's no question that uh you know we all gotta to help contribute that and we all got to be able to you know play certain situations to, to help out and you want you want guys fresh uh over the course of the year that's for sure